Sneaker Gears, my name is Levi, and today I'm proud to bring you the first episode of Power Gears. We're going to talk to you about the best weightlifting and training shoes. And our very first review is going to be the Under Armour Architect. Your Under Armour Architect uses a 3D printed midsole. Now, what this allows is it has some measure of compression, but once it does compress, and it's a small amount, it is completely solid. It is 100% stable. I was able to do three sets of three at 455 in these, and I probably could have done more, should have done more, but it, it held up. It's ridiculous. I was able to do some box jumps, and what's nice about it is you have that stable platform to take off from, but it has charge cushioning along the midfoot and the forefoot, so your lands were just well received. My knees thanked me, it felt great. Same thing when I did sprints. When you're sprinting, you're not heel striking. You're taking off on the toe. The charge cushioning on this is actually a little bit more cushioning than on your slingshots. So this is something you're able to do some runs in. Uh, I was finally able to do some squats today and my knees were hurting. So I actually did some pause squats and front squats and same thing. The shoe holds up amazing. Your locked on feel with your front two straps are spot on. They hold you in the shoe. The clutch fit does exactly what it is meant to do. It feels like a second skin. I never had to think about it. They supported me. My feet were not hurting. Uh, another perspective is I actually used my ZG Prime to do some rowing yesterday. I did a 5,000 meter row and my lungs felt good. My body felt good. If you check on my Instagram, I actually did post it. My feet were hurting because you're just not meant for that kind of push off because you're kind of jumping when you go into that row. There's a lot of pressure. The Under Armour Architect is going to be the foundation for some of the new technology to come out of Under Armour for the next training shoes that they're going to be pushing out in years to come. But this is absolutely the best training shoe in the market that you're able to do the most in without having to change shoes. In my bag right now when I go to the gym, I bring this and I bring my Jordan 30. I'm able to ball in and I'm able to do everything else in this guy. And honestly, going to and from the gym, I wear Adidas Boost. So you guys have an idea of what's in my bag. Keep it simple. And there's nothing from Nike. So I'm sorry. But you know, I got a little bit of everything else. A little Jordan, Under Armour, and some Adidas. But the Under Armour Architect, the whole shoe has been ridiculous from the inner to the closure. And if you can see how it locks down, it does give you some grooves here. So when you tighten this down, there's nothing negative I could say about it. The heel cup does its job, cushioning. This thing is amazingly made. My only wish is that they make more because everyone should have an opportunity to own this shoe. And honestly, I'm not an elite athlete who probably deserves this kind of shoe. So I hope they're sending this to all of their athletes at Under Armour. But needless to say, the shoe does the job above and beyond what Under Armour intended. Shout out to all the engineers and all the guys under Armour who did an amazing job and everyone else in the industry needs to pick it up. Reebok is no longer king of the hill when it comes to training shoes and this is blowing anything out of the water from Nike or Adidas. We really appreciate you guys. If you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. I try to post things there before I publish the videos. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I do try to put everything there. So if you guys have questions or looking to get something more specific, we're gonna help you out as much as possible. This is Levi with Sneaker Gears, our first episode of Power Gears, and we'll be coming at you guys later.